Hi everyone, it's Scott here from That's English School. Ego Kenkyu Project. Yoko are machigai o bunseki shimasu. Konkai no hanashi wa retire desu ne. Kinnen. Nihongo de mo ano katakana de ne retire to iimasu yo ne. Mada mada honkaku teki ni ano nihongo de ma natte nai yo na ki ga shimasu ga. Ma sono ichi、えー、naru no dewa nai deshou ka. Retire no tsukai kata ni kanjite wa desu ne. あれと思ってしまう時もありますので今回それをテーマにしました正直なところはよくある間違いではないのですがたまにはありますねその時のためにいろいろと確認したいということで皆さんの,あの上達につながると嬉しいです So let's get this party started And we'll look at the problem, the reason, the solution, and of course, finish off with some example sentences. Okay, here we go. First, let's look at the problem. He retired at age 35. He retired at 35. Now, when you first hear this sentence, there is absolutely nothing wrong with it. It's very possible for a person to retire at 35. It happens all the time. But the problem is, is with the deeper connotations that it is suggesting. Expressions that have different connotations may lead to misunderstandings. If you had two people here, a Japanese native speaker and an English native speaker, and you said, He retired at age 35. Each person might form a slightly different picture in their mind of what you said. Are you intrigued? Let's go a little deeper. Straight off the bat, we have to look at the fundamental meaning of retire. Retirement is the stage in life when a person chooses to leave the workforce. And live off sources of income or savings that do not require active work. So it means that you never work again. Your working life is finished. Technically, every day is like Sunday. So think of it like this Retire is in English, but in Japanese, maybe you'd like to say, Teinen taishok suru. I think that's the best way to say retire. Let's look back at the original sentence. He retired at age 35. It's possible, but it usually means that he has so much money that he doesn't need to work at all. Now, the problem I have found with Japanese students learning English is that they use the word retire a little more broadly than I would. I sometimes feel, wait a minute, that's not how you use the word retire. Let's say a person decided to change j o b They moved from company A to company B. In that situation, we don't say he retired from company A. It doesn't make sense because he's still in the middle of his career. He still wants to and needs to work. I've got some big news. What's that? I'm retiring next month. Congratulations! You must be looking forward to a nice, relaxing lifestyle. Relaxing? I've got another job in a bigger company. I thought you were retiring. I am. Next month. But you've got another job? That's not retiring. I am retiring. I beg to differ. It's funny, I've even heard university students say that they are. Retiring from their part time job in a coffee shop. What? Now let's look at some special cases. In the world of sport and entertainment, we do use the word retire. Ichiro retired from the world of baseball in 2019. So, He retired from his career as an actual baseball player, but he's still heavily involved in the world of baseball. But we still say he retired. Hiroyuki Miyasako retired from entertainment. 
So technically he is retired, but he's still working in some form of entertainment. Hmm. So entertainment and sport, it just works like that. You can use the word retire. Let me just reconfirm. If you are a normal member of society, we use the word retire, meaning that you will never work again. Your working life is over. In most cases, this happens when you're between 60 and 70 years old. There are different ways to use it. As an adjective, a verb, and a noun. As an adjective, my father is retired. As a verb, my father retired when he was 65. As a noun, my father went into retirement at age 65. You can also use the terms semi-retired or completely retired. There has also been a trend in recent years. Early retirement. This is, this is often used with take early retirement. To take early retirement. I've decided to take early retirement. We have the option to take early retirement. If you take early retirement, you better have a plan. It's also popular to use the expression retire to. This is when you sell your home and move to a completely new place. I want to retire to Hokkaido. My neighbors retired to Okinawa. A lot of Americans retire to Florida. If someone retires and then changes their mind, we can say, come out of retirement. Michael Jordan came out of retirement to play again in the NBA. Here's some trivia for you. We sometimes use the word retire for machines and animals that have worked hard for us. We are showing respect and appreciation by using a very human verb on them. These old model trains were gradually retired in the late 70s. This racehorse was retired after a successful career. Let's take a look at five example sentences to give you more and more vocabulary and natural expressions. The first one is this. My dad was made redundant just five years before he was due to retire. To be made redundant means you didn't do anything wrong, but for various reasons, you just lost your job. I guess redundant is probably more popular in British English than in other types of English. John worked hard all his life, only to die of a heart attack a week after he retired. What an awful story. To die of a heart attack is one of the leading causes of death in Western countries. You going to Barbara's retirement bash? Wouldn't miss it for the world. She is an absolute gem. So a bash is another word for a party. And a gem is a word that you use to describe a person who's just a really nice person, like a diamond. She's a gem. I want to make a career change. I'm still only 38 and feel I'm getting nowhere in this company. If you feel like you're getting nowhere, you feel your hard work is useless and meaningless to building a successful career. I'm getting nowhere. When you retire, you have to think carefully about living life on a pension. A pension is the money you receive from the government or a private organization when you retire. It's not a small hotel, which a lot of people seem to think in Japan. That is French. Are you a super busy person, but you still want to improve your English? Well, this playlist is perfect for you. It's the Too Many English playlist. It has 50 lessons of very useful topics. Perfect for studying on the go. I'll see you over there. Let's go.